Another afternoon, while my mother and I were again searching the streets for spare bits of food, we heard blood-curdling screams coming in the direction of our cramped apartment. My mother yanked my little arm and took off running in the direction of the screams. She dashed up the stairs of our building, fighting her way through a crowd of people. And once we were there on the landing, the crowd was even thicker. But through the open door, we could see a body, a body sprawled on the kitchen floor. It was my father in his ratty dress shirt and his schleikes or suspenders lying there bleeding from a gash on the side of his throat.